Craig is here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today I have for you a limited edition pen available exclusively through the Italian retailer Stilo and Stile. Uh, they have done a great job partnering up with manufacturers to create some very cool limited edition models. This time around, they have partnered with Franklin Christoph, a brand that I'm very familiar with. Uh, their headquarters is only about a half an hour away from my house. And what they have created is a take on Franklin Christoph's model number three called Sparkling Rock. What I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about it. I'll share some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to the good folks at Stilo and Stile for providing this pen for review, as well as the ink that you'll see later in the writing sample. I thought it matched really well with the pen that you're going to see here in a second. Speaking of the pen, it arrives in this standard Franklin Christoph box. Inside, we have a couple of things. Uh, we have a little card uh, that shows the team member who tuned your nib. Uh, Franklin Christoph uh, really takes care to ensure that every nib that leaves their facilities is smoothed and tuned and in proper working order. Uh, the pen here was tuned by the nib doctor herself, Audrey Madison. Uh, then we have this nice little herringbone pattern zippered case, uh, zippered pouch rather. Uh, this one is gray, uh, but they also come in blue. Uh, typically the pouch colors are a bit random. You might receive one gray, you might receive one blue. And then inside we have the pen. Uh, this is the Franklin Christoph number three sparkling rock. Uh, this is an eye-catching material made by the Turnt Pen Company here in the U.S. Uh, Turnt is run by a gentleman by the name of Tim Crow, who is based out of the Finger Lake region of New York, near uh, Rochester. Uh, he does some great resin work. Uh, I saw it up close at the DC show last year. Um, it's really nice to see that pen companies have really began to embrace the appeal of uh, handmade aluminite resins. The inspiration behind this material was the idea to merge two different cultures from the United States and Italy with the idea of a U.S.-based artisan creating resin to replicate the beauty and exciting colors of Italian green marble, uh, which I feel Tim has capsulated nicely here with different shades of green and pearlescent white, which uh, will be different on every pen in this edition. Uh, let's take a look at the top of the cap. Uh, it is flat with a beveled edge. On the very top, it is engraved with the Franklin Christoph logo and four diamonds. Uh, you know, a minor issue with the finial is that while the logo is perfectly centered on the top, it really isn't aligned with the clip. It's at a bit of an angle. The perfectionist in me would love to see that kind of imperfect alignment. But to be honest, with this darker green material, unless I catch it in just the right light, I don't even notice that engraving on here. So having it a bit out of kilter really doesn't bother me that much. Uh, then we have the clip. Uh, it is rhodium plated and has a bit of a bow to it. Uh, like the top of the cap, it is engraved with the Franklin Christoph four diamond motif. Uh, it does slope up at a bit at the end to ease in its use. I find it's accommodating in materials of varying thicknesses. Uh, the cap angles up very slightly, less than a millimeter, so it's hardly noticeable. Uh, at the end of the cap, there is no traditional band, but it is engraved with the company name, Franklin Christoph, uh, as well as the model of this pen, number three. There is a small step down to the barrel, uh, which tapers down just a couple of millimeters until you reach the conclusion, which results in a flat beveled end. Uh, the cap twists off with a single rotation, and underneath we have a number six Yovo stainless steel nib. Uh, this pen is available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and both 1.1 and 1.5 stubs. Uh, Franklin Christoph offers some very nice specialty nibs as well, but those typically aren't available on retailer limited editions. And here's a look at the plastic feed. The section begins with the blocky cap threads, which is a unique placement. Uh, the section then angles up until a medium-sized step up to the remainder of the barrel. Now, I tend to grip my pens very close to the end of the section, so the idea of having the threads in that location sounds like something that wouldn't work for me personally, but I don't find that to be the case with this pen. 
Um, with the threads being a bit large and blocky, it pretty much you know, is the equivalent of just having a raised ring there on the end. And I find that the threads are an adequate deterrent and my grip will stay in place behind them. I don't find my grip wanting to meander over them, potentially making it a bit uncomfortable. Um, the pen is plenty long enough to use unposted. The cap does post, and it does post securely. Um, it doesn't post overly deep, though. Posting will add a considerable amount of length to this pen, but the cap is fairly light, so I don't feel the added length backweights the pen or throws off the balance. Personally, I prefer to use this pen unposted. Uh, this is a cartridge converter pen. It accepts standard international cartridges and a converter is provided. Uh, with the barrel's one-piece construction and the lack of metal parts, uh, this would be a fine pen to eyedropper if you are into that kind of thing. Uh, the Franklin Christoph Sparkling Rock is a limited edition of 150 units and only available through the Stilo and Stile website. Uh, it retails for about $230. Uh, this is a uh, limited edition, but not a numbered edition. But it's my understanding that more than half have already sold out. So if this is something you're interested in, it would be best to act sooner rather than later before they're gone forever. Um, as I mentioned previously, I live about a half hour away from Franklin Christoph's facilities. I thought it was uh, kind of funny how this pen started off close to me, then went about on about like a 10,000 mile round trip over to Italy and then back to me. Uh, one of the things I enjoy about the fountain pen hobby is truly how global it is. Okay, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample with an ink available through Stilo and Stile from a company that I haven't previously tried. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Franklin Christoph number three, and this is in the Sparkling Rock. I wanted to give you another look at that material. I just think it really pops, and uh, if the idea was that they wanted to represent some Italian marble, then I think they did an awesome job with that. Uh, in regard to some size comparisons, this is what it looks like with a uh, Franklin Christoph. This is a Model 66. This was my recent project I had with them. Uh, and then also in comparison, this is a uh, Visconti Millionaire, which actually has some Italian marble in it. Uh, and then this is what it looks like with a Pelican M805. Then this is what it looks like with a Lamy Safari. Uh, and then this is one of their other most recent releases that they had that have long since sold out, which was a, a, a partnership with Leonardo for a Memento Zero, which is amazing. And then finally, I had a new pen day the other day and something that I'm very excited about to receive, which was a pen from Macar Tools. And this is a Torpedo 250. Uh, this is in the Moco TI, uh, the really colorful titanium, and it has a mother of pearl ring around the roll stop. Uh, it's just a really cool pen, and I can't wait to share more about it. A titanium nib that's blue. There's just a lot of cool things going on here, and that's what it looks like in relation to the Franklin Christoph. In regard to uncapped comparisons, uh, this is what it looks like with the Model 66. Then here is the Momento Zero from Leonardo. And here is the Lamy All-Star. So here we have the, we'll call it Stilo and Stile. Franklin Christoph This is a number 3 and this is the Sparkling Rock The ink that I'm using is an ink that uh, I was not familiar with, or I haven't tested out before, which is from Guitar. And this ink is Lady Emerald. Uh, 
Oh, I forgot to mention that this is actually a broad stainless steel nib. This is what the ink looks like. It's a nice darker green with some nice sheening to it. Uh, that it's somewhat similar to Private Reserve's Cadillac Green. Uh, and then this is what it looks like with Ferris Wheel Press's Peppermint Drop. This is what the box looks like. I just wanted to show you that box. There's just something cool about that box. And then the ink itself. Let me show you the bottle. Let me get out of here. And this is what the bottle looks like. Um, that uh, so far my experience with this ink is really nice, but I haven't tried guitar inks before and I'm uh, looking forward to getting some more use out of this, but I think it paired nicely with this pen. So here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Um, as with all Franklin Christoph nibs, this one performs very, very well. Like I mentioned, they take a great deal of care uh, in making sure that every nib that leaves their facility is tuned to perfection. Um, this broad nib does have a decent amount of uh, ink flow to it in regard to reverse writing. It is a little sharp, but gets the job done. And in relation to some fast writing... The feed keeps up just fine. So there we have the Stilo and Stile Franklin Christoph number no. three sparkling rock. Um, I think uh, this is another pen that uh, Stilo and Stile has done a great job with. I think they've done uh, really good work in partnering with manufacturers to come out with something new and unique and different and special, which is what you want for a special edition. So until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.